Prime out here playing chess while the rest of us be playing checkers. Boys and girls, Coach Prime's back in the news again. It's time making his coaches run, kicking players out, and breaking records on the uh, football field. Let's get into it. First things first, most of you, if you don't live under a rock, have already heard that Coach Prime kicked out one of his players during a workout for what? Wearing white socks. He's made it very clear, even early on, that we wear black socks, not white socks, okay? So if you're wearing white socks, you best... You best see the door real quick. Now, this breaks down to a few situations here. There's two, probably two sides to this. Some people are okay with what they're seeing. They love the accountability. They love that they kicked him out. All is good, right? Most everybody, I think, is on that board of like, hey, we're okay with him kicking the player out. Totally agree. It's fine. I didn't see too many people disagreeing with Coach Prime kicking out that player for wearing white socks. If for the 5% that disagree, here's what I got to say to that. It's a small, minute detail, but that small detail goes from a little pebble like this and it seam rolls into a boulder, into a ball, right? Imagine a snowball going down the hill. That's how it starts. Everything starts small, and if you don't cut it off early, the bigger it gets, the harder it is to handle, okay? So, yeah, it may seem like something small, but if you if you set a rule that you have to wear black socks, and in the morning you wake up and you choose to throw on white socks, or you forget, or you're not focused enough to wear black socks, what does that tell the coach? That you don't care about this team, you don't care about what I have to say about you, nor do you care about the details. If you can't care about as simply as putting on your socks, the right socks in the morning, how are you going to be able to handle that on the football field if you know that you can't have white socks throw the damn white socks away i love it again most people do here's where people start to separate their paths and this is where the the, the division comes into the civil war right now between this sock dilemma is happening you got one half that love it that love the fact that it's being recorded you got the other half that are saying don't mind that he's doing it but you don't need to put it out there publicly you don't need to record it now here's what i say to that because i have been on the on the uh, the advocate side of things is saying, I love that Coach Prime records everything because he says he's going to do something and then he's being held accountable. There's two parts of this being recorded. He didn't post it to his social media. He's not recording it himself, okay? It's his son's business. His And look, however you want to look at it, it is his son's business, way of media, I believe it's what it's called, that is following him around, that is documenting it day by day, recording him, doing whatever it may be, and he caught that moment in the act, and he posted it. Coach Prime's not bragging about it. Coach Prime's not posting it, and it even shows in the clip that it gets cut off because Coach Prime probably was like, look, I don't need everything being out there. I'm about to get serious real quick. Let's shut this thing down really quick. And I'm sure, look, some of the stuff is like, yeah, I'm okay if that goes out. No big deal. And look, I know we all know Coach Prime's agenda and kind of like his mindset is very, hey, come take a look at us. Again, I'm a fan of it. I think part of it, too, because it is Coach Prime is why people just hate seeing that he's recording it. If we saw a video come out of, of Nick Saban doing this, it would not be as criticized. It wouldn't be criticized at all, actually. It, it, we, we would almost be considering... It, it, we wouldn't even question if Nick Saban did it. So the fact that we're questioning Dion to me, is an issue in itself. Now, it doesn't just end there. There is a clip of him making his coaches run. People are like, are you kidding me? Whatever. Why are you doing this? Again... I love seeing this, okay? What you're doing is you're creating that dynamic. Now, that, now, look, you can make an argument for either side here, okay? Here's how I look at this. They're playing a game. They're throwing a, a football into a bucket. You are all playing on one team. If your team loses, you run sprints. If your coaches are participating in that event, you should, you should participate in losing, okay? I think as a leader right? You should be able to get down on your hands and knees and do what you're asking your players to do. So there has to be somebody that's above that. That's got to be coach prime. He has to separate himself that because now you all have a common enemy, right? And now you're thinking, why do you want an enemy on a team? Well, look, you, even though you're all one big group in leadership, you still need to have the, the, the hierarchy, right? So if you all can make sure that you love these coaches because they're bought in, they're dialed in. When that coach asks you something on, a, on any given Saturday, hey, I need you to go do this, you're willing to go out there and sacrifice anything because just the other day, homeboy was doing sprints with you because you guys lost together, okay? Again, it's just, I feel like we find a reason to, 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 to knock on Coach Prime because it's Coach Prime and because it is being documented, so it's in our face more than it's ever been before. There hasn't been too many things, again, that I've been on the negative for Coach Prime and maybe... That is something that you can say, hey, Shelton, you're very biased in this situation. I know some people feel that I'm a hater of Coach Prime. Not sure where that's coming from. <laughs> but I look, I it, when something comes out that it makes me feel uncomfortable or makes me feel like, hey, he probably overstepped, I'll be the first to say that. Maybe I'm a little blinded by everything right now, and I do enjoy seeing this because it is new, right? It is fresh to see all these things. So right now, I'm okay with everything. And it looks like 
The spring game coming up here in just a month or so is going to be the only spring game on ESPN. I mean, my goodness. The guys got these people uh, locked up here, okay? I mean, talk about just being absolutely massive for recruiting, for the brand, everything we've been talking about thus far. It's exciting to see. I think this is probably one of the most highly anticipated college football seasons. One, because it's going to be the last year before uh, Texas and Oklahoma join the SEC. I think it's... We have two more years before we go to the 12-team uh, playoff bracket. And then, obviously, this is Coach Prime's first year. I mean, it's it's March, and we're already this fired up. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn the bell on. We go live every Wednesday at 835. Come join us for a long, uh, good, you know, hour-and-a-half show. Make sure, again, let me know in the comments what do you think on all these situations. Love to hear from you. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.